Flash flooding in the Zion area and into the, the town of Springdale, just outside of the main park entrance. Joining us live on phone is Sergeant Jason Schaefer with the Springdale Police Department. Sergeant, I imagine it's a busy time for you. Thank you for joining us. First off, just tell us what the situation is right now. How are things? Uh, right now, traffic is flowing through town. They've got the park go open, uh, a lot of cleanup efforts, moving a lot of mud and uh, boulders and stuff like that. Uh, several agencies are helping, like uh, UDOT uh, County's got a lot of equipment up here and then a lot of local volunteers and equipment. And Sergeant, is there, um, at this point, are, are you confident uh, uh, knowing that people are accounted for, that this is, that the damage that we've seen hasn't included any, any loss of life or, or severe injury, or has it? Yeah, we haven't had any reports of any injuries or, or uh, people, any fatalities from it. So right now, it's just lots of property damage. Is this, I, you know, um, our, our meteorologist uh, Danny and I were, were looking at some of the stream flow in the area and how high the Virgin River did get. It's always kind of jarring to see, but, um, but it, it, the bulk of the flood came a while after the rain. Did that give you, did you have some warning that this was coming? Um, we had lots of uh, dark clouds in the area, but when it started raining, it dumped fast. Um, it kind of surrounded even our offices in the town hall. Um, couldn't even get vehicles out of the way in time once the wall of water came down. Describe that a little bit more for us. So, you know, we're looking at pictures that show, you know, rocks that were pushed into cars or in front of them and, and how deep the mud is. But, but what did you experience? Were you, were you at the station? Did you go outside and try and get a patrol car or truck out? No, I was actually out on the street on the south end of town when it started raining and uh, the guys in the office, even our chief, police chief's vehicle was caught in it and started to wash away. So you were at the south end of uh, town employees. south end of Springdale, and and all you know, we Utahns, we know Springdale. It's uh, it's you know, it's it's the way to get in. So um, so it's kind of a long uh, uh, a, a long main road from the south end up to the entrance. Did you immediately go up to the to the entrance, and what did you see? Well, I immediately went back towards the office. Uh, you couldn't even get to the entrance of Zion. It, the Lion Boulevard was just a river and. Um, down around the corner where there's a restaurant called Blondie's was completely blocked by mud and water and rock. And as you look around uh, the the town, what what are the what what's the damage that you are concerned about? I imagine there are some businesses that are that are trying to figure out how to clean up and what to do. Yeah, there's several businesses that got a lot of uh, mud and rock inside the building. Water damage. They're cleaning out. Um, and this right now, the roads are clear and open, but it's it's going to take a little bit to clean it all out. And being a being in law enforcement in a town like Springdale is kind of a it's a whole different kind of thing than in other places because there's a small local population, and then thousands upon thousands of people going in and out on a temporary basis all the time. So, uh, is it when something like this happens? Do you worry about those folks who just who don't know about flash floods, don't know about the weather, uh, and these kinds of things? Yeah, that was our biggest concern right off the bat when uh, couldn't get up Canyon was trying to get traffic turned around and get them out of the area, uh, keep them from going into it. Um, and then once the road cleared up enough to divert them around the closed spots, it took a little while to get the, uh, everybody out of the Canyon. Okay. And uh, Sergeant, we're, we're out of time, but I did want to ask real quickly, if, if there are people watching who have uh, campground reservations for this uh, Independence Day weekend or something like that, any, any words for them? Um, check with the campground you're going to and see what their conditions are. I know uh, many of them have got quite a bit of damage. Okay. Um, so I'd, I'd call first before you come. Just make sure you should still get a spot that you can camp. Okay. Make sure those reservations are still good at hotels and campgrounds. Uh, Sergeant, thanks so much. I, I imagine it's been quite a, quite a 24 hours for you. Yeah, we've still got a lot more to go. I'll bet. Okay. Sergeant Jason Schaefer with the Springdale Police Department uh, joining us via phone.